thought I'd, I'd make another video because I haven't made one in a while. This video will be a tutorial on animating an element in a web page based on the user's key press. This is just a very basic guide. I wouldn't really recommend that you do that um, the way exactly I'm doing it. This is just a starting point. So what you want to do first in the body tag, I would make two divs. One will be the containing div of the actual element that you will, will be moving. The other will actually be what we will call the character. Go into the style and give the container any size that you want. And make sure that you put the position to relative because you're going to put the character, give him a position of absolute because he's going to use that container for his absolute position. And this is what we have so far. Just a basic container and just the div inside of it. Now you want to go down to our script. You want to get the ID of the guy and also the ID of the container, although we won't really be using the container really, it's just good practice to get everything, all the information that you might need. And this is not using jQuery, this is actually using real JavaScript. Now, what you want to do next is make a function. I'll just call this a function atom. I'm going to put e inside of the brackets here. And what you want to do is you want to detect which button is being pushed. And you, you can get the code of each key by simply uh, typing this code. Make sure the C and code is capitalized. Remember JavaScript is typically camel cased. And then at the end you want to put document dot on key down equals anim. So now so we, every time we push the right arrow, we want 39, 37 is left, up is 38, down is 40. We will just program left and right. So now we want to detect the numbers being pushed. We'll do the left and right, like I said. So we'll have to create if statement to detect that. Now we detected if the left key or the right key arrow key is being pushed. Another thing you want to do up here is give the position of the element. We'll start it out at zero. And we'll just say bar left equals zero. Now every time we want the character to move right, every time you push right, you want to add, we'll say two pixels. So we'll say a left plus equals two, 
So we're adding a few every time. If you were to just do one, you just do left plus plus. And that will auto increment by one. That's what we're doing too. Now, as you all know, in JavaScript you can set styles. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be setting a style inside of this. So we want to say guy.style.left equals left. Actually, I wouldn't use left as a variable. I would use guy left. Makes more sense for us. You can concatenate that with the pixel at the end so it knows that this is pixels. Now we want to do the same thing for whenever the user pushes left. Except we want to subtract two pixels. Now this character should move left and right. We'll look this up in the web browser to see how this works. Oh, something's wrong here. Do some problem solving here. Left is not defined, so I'm still using that left variable somewhere, which I'm doing right here. So now this should work, and there you go. The element is now being moved based on the user key press. Now if you want to do some basic collision detection on the sides, what you could do is say if when the guy is moving left, we'll say if guy left is less than or equal to zero, guy left plus equals two, we'll see if that works. There you go. You can keep on pushing left and it will just stop. Same with the right. If you wanted to have the collision detection on the right, you would get the width of the container, 600 pixels. And we would say, if I left is greater than or equal to 600, left minus equals two. So now we should be able to move all the way to the right and it'll stop. Sorry that it's taking too long. I should have added more pixels to this. And well, I gave it the wrong amount of pixels, obviously. Anyway, that's my basic tutorial on animating an element inside of a page. Sorry if I sound kind of tired, it's because I am. Rate this video, comment it, and subscribe. Thanks.